Yeah, absolutely. That's so true. You said um, nobody likes a blowout, which is so true. It's like in a game I'm talking about, like we're blowing people out by like 30 or 40 points. In life, we want blowouts. We want right. everything to go well. We want us to be like way ahead of everybody else. But like it, it doesn't, it's not interesting, you know, not that no. we're only looking adventure whatever but uh yeah that super resonated with me i'm like i would take a close game any day over yeah. a blowout just it's more interesting and you learn more about yourself and and your teammates you know that's the stuff that like kind of sharpens and brings us to that, yeah. that like really place and isn't it it's just so interesting that then in life we just still want it to go easy yeah and it's so like and, counter yeah, it's mind-boggling i know it's so weird it's, it's one so of the lessons that takes like 50 i was gonna say 50 times more like 50 years to like get into your head where you're like okay instead of viewing this as like a problem let me see this as an opportunity like you said something that i can use to to really either fuel me or make me a better person not just on the court but like off the court um, how will this come into play? How can this humble me? Maybe it's something that's like actually really crappy. Maybe I need to be humble. Maybe I need to make a mistake. Maybe I need to change my perspective so that I can approach this from a different way next time. Maybe I need to be a better person. Maybe um, I, this happens. Yeah. Oh, I need to like a, a, a <laughs> smack upside the head and like look around and, you know, like uh, reach out to someone else who's, who's struggling. And so I... I, I really like those opportunities to, to kind of reframe and look at the, the silver lining, so to speak. And let's be clear yeah. that those times aren't fun. Like for sure, no. I've also had a few of those like this year um, and you're just sitting there like, oh man, like I've, I've been called out or yes, I need to change this part. Or it's like very obvious that I need to do some rearranging. But yeah, like that's, that sucks like that doesn't feel good but again like you're just an opportunity to make a positive change and um I think yeah again like this year any kind of setback for sure can propel that and yes mm -hmm. it's an opportunity but it for sure is going to take 50 years <laughs> to figure out but <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah exactly one of the helpful things when that kind of happens and it's not fun or like you, or you may be like your initial reaction is like anger or, you know, sadness or something like taking a moment to be like, let me actually like digest this information before I like react right away. Because sometimes our first reaction, especially in that kind of like learning situation is not like the mm -hmm. greatest one. So that's when maybe like a pause, a breathing, Stay on. Take a breath. <laughs> yeah, take a breath. It's not just like a cliche. It actually can be helpful. And, and even just recognizing that you are feeling that emotion, because sometimes we don't recognize the emotions that come up right away. We're just like, we feel something. We don't know what we're feeling. So that's why it's, it's helpful to kind of be in tune. Be like, okay, I feel something and it is anger. Okay, I'm going to bring that, let it kind of like sit with me for a minute. Maybe I need to like do with that. That's okay. We don't need to like ignore it. Just kind of like recognize what's going on and then like kind of reframe that or do whatever we need to do to work through that and, uh, and then glean what we can from it. Definitely. I'm a big journaler. So especially mm. in those situations, like often, even if I don't necessarily react negatively, it's even if I, if I reflect, I usually like find something else, like when I'm journaling, like maybe again, like it's something that I need to change or like, okay, they were coming from this place, but I'm finding mm -hmm. like when I'm journaling, I can just like get out maybe the subconscious that's like knocking there that wants to be seen or like maybe that's what the reaction is. So that's super helpful for me because otherwise, yeah, I just, it takes, I think, a little bit of time for me to digest any kind of situation or anything like that. So journaling is just huge, has been huge for me over the years. I love that. I also am a journaler, um, more so be since COVID hit. That's like, this oh, has been the thing that has really solidified the habit 
before, you know, I'd go through seasons where I'd be like journaling a lot and then like I'd forget that a journal existed and then like I'd come back later, you know. Um, but since COVID hit, uh, I think it might have been maybe, I think the first day of the first lockdown, I haven't missed a day since, like literally, wow. daily. Now it's just like really a habit, you know, <laughs> like that's cool. like, it's, you know, so that has been really cool to, to watch. Because, like, something like that, you know, you have habits that are, like, every other day or, you know, every couple of weeks, you know, like, different habits that you might have. But that's something that has, like you said, you're able to, like, digest that and, like, kind of see what is actually going on. And, like, while you're writing, you're kind of like, oh, I actually didn't know that was bothering me, but I just dedicated oh. a page and a half to that. So <laughs> maybe we need to take a look at that. Okay, we'll circle back exactly like just writing about your day or like sometimes i'll do like a weekly update and then again like you're just hitting this one one thing and you're just like oh okay interesting yeah, exactly we'll, yeah. we'll address that that's good yeah yeah it's totally like those um patterns that like keep uh cropping up because i i think in some things I'm a fast learner, but in other things I'm like a really slow learner. Like I feel like with life lessons, it's like I need to get it again and again and again before I'm like, oh, okay, Miranda, maybe this would be a more useful way to react to that. And journaling That's is a amazing. great way to like cement it in your mind. Because like, I think a lot of people look at people like maybe in our position in a world of professional sport where, you know, we've gleaned a lot of life lessons often on the court from what we've learned. And sometimes people think that like, it just comes like that. It's, it's really, you know, it's, it's an effort. Like you've, you've been talking yeah. about working through it, recognizing it, taking the time to write it down, taking the time to talk to other people about it. And I think it's, it's useful to recognize that there's a process to it and it's not supposed to be easy because if it was easy everybody would be doing it and it wouldn't be worth doing you know exactly 